it's a six or eight inch uh, pipe that comes out into the concrete box located here excavated down and uh, the top of the slab is about a foot down connects to probably about a 24 inch pipe over into this next inlet right there this uh, a lot of truck traffic through here we need to make sure that we have one uh, one truck length open truck width open for a tractor trailer truck and uh, obviously some cones would be fine from a traffic control standpoint but the goal is to uh, excavate into the slab um, confirm that this is the junction box location once we confirm it go ahead and open it up to uh, be able to put a manhole inlet and grate on it um, just a single S grate frame and grate is probably fine um, the purpose of, the, of that is to provide some relief so that when the uh, downstream pipe clogs it will surcharge from here and not go into the building. At the same time we want to look into the outfall pipe and try to try to uh, determine if there's a clog there and uh, we need to recommend to the client whether or not it's worthwhile bringing our back truck in to, uh, to try to resolve the clog situation. So we've got two components here. One is on the short term to get the relief to stop the surcharging inside the building. Second is to see what we can do to figure out what's going on with the uh, uh, with the clog. So part of that is trying to find the outfall um, in the stream. There's a pretty high fence, probably an eight foot fence that needs to be gone over uh, with razor wire on the top of it um, to try to access, uh, try to locate the uh, locate the outfall very steep bank also so maybe a rope harness might not be bad to be able to get down um, the uh, this bank and waders of course would be probably helpful this is the entrance and access to the site um, this is the site of the Baltimore Housing Authority maintenance operations and I believe a couple other operations in the building.